Hey guys, so the devil sometimes attacks us the same way over and over again, and he has success. And if we look at the first thing that happens back in the in the book of Genesis, we see the devil attacking us by saying, attacking Eve, right? Saying, did God really say blah, 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 blah? And he stretches the truth there. He does all kinds of stuff. But this, did he really say or did he really mean? Doesn't Isn't that something that you hear a lot, maybe in your head? Did God really mean? Does he really mean it whenever he says that he would love me no matter what? Does he, did he, you know, like really mean it whenever he said that he loved the whole world, you know, so much that he gave his son, you know, for whoever, right? Was, are you sure it wasn't just talking about someone else? And whenever we hear this, notice something. This was something that was very interesting to me whenever I first realized it. Since Adam is there, Adam is there with Eve, but the serpent isn't talking to Adam, who heard directly from God. He's talking to Eve, who heard these commands through Adam, we assume. And so we're looking at this, and sometimes it's whenever we struggle the most to hear God, or whenever we're not hearing so directly, um, maybe we're not getting in our word as much, man, these same thoughts come into our mind, and we start to think, hmm, did it? Did he really mean it? Did he? Does he really still love me after all I've done? And the answer to all those questions, yes. Yes, abundantly, yes. Just because you're not hearing the voice, yes, he still loves you, no matter what you did. Yes, he will love you, no matter what you do. He, he can't reject himself. And so we have to sometimes, whenever we are having a hard time, we've got to come back to a center, and that center has got to be the word. It's got to be encouraging ourselves, and it's got to be telling those thoughts, no, you can't lie to me. Yes, God loves me. Right? Sometimes they might ask questions that you don't know the answer of, but you know that you, you know, you should know and that you, um, you know, believe that God loves you and just come back to that. You know, like if, if think about it, if Eve would have answered the serpent instead of, you know, trying to have a conversation there, if Eve would have answered the serpent, God loves me, then all of the following all the plan, all the, no, but God really is doing this, it wouldn't have landed. But it landed because we were listening to the thought in the first place. So shut down those thoughts that say, did God really mean, did God really say? So hopefully that's helpful. And uh, as we go through our, our week, we can start shutting down the enemy. Thanks for taking a minute.